Hello and welcome back to another video. First thing I'm going to pick up is this bottle of Heineken. And I'm going to show you a few new additions, including what was in those boxes. So the first thing for your viewing pleasure is this lovely seat cover from the range, 599 I thought these would come in handy for some extended gameplay sessions. So I've got two of them, and I'm about to reveal one of the first items out of the boxes. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it's an Xbox 360 HD DVD player. Fully aware this is now you know, a dead format, Blu-rays taking over, there's no new movies being released, etc, etc, etc. But, picked up a load of movies recently, didn't have a player, felt like this was a bit of a no-brainer, especially considering the amount of space it takes up. So, did watch a film, Children of Men, I think, last night, actually really enjoyed it, and uh, worked a honky-dory on my Xbox 360. So next, moving on to the Mega Drive, and this is a game with a little bit of a strange tale, I'll try not to take up too much of your time talking about it. Basically it's Mutant League Hockey, a long time ago I bought the loose cartridge off Leicester Market, the Market, the Leicester Market, I foolishly sold it because I wasn't that into the game, and then fast forward a year or so later I bought this cover art of Ian Wilson. So I was desperate to get the cartridge back, but unfortunately it sells for a fair amount of money. It doesn't come up too often. But what happened was the American version came up on eBay without instructions. I'm not too bothered. And I ended up winning this for about the same price that I sold the loose cartridge for probably five years ago. It was around about £20, so I was pleased to get it because I did want this game back in my collection, especially considering the fact I had the cover art. And I've got a soft spot for these electronic art cases. So that's the tale behind that. I now own Mutant League Hockey. If anyone desperately wants the American box art, maybe they've got a loose cart, I'm sure we could sort something out. Otherwise it will remain here and who knows. So next we're going to look at the two Mega Drive games that I got from Craig Cherie. First one, Cheeky Cheeky Boys. So, this is a Capcom conversion. Always interesting in these Capcom games on the Mega Drive because they were done by the Sega themselves and they seem to have made a cracking job. You've got to love the artwork on this. Did briefly play us on my other drive. Seems like a really fun platformer. I believe this came from Griffo originally. So, starting to build up quite a collection of Paul and Craig's games here in the game room. But can't go wrong with that. Definitely going to be one of those games that's, from what I've played, really enjoyable to just sit down and play. Nice and straightforward, fun boss battles, chunky graphics. Yeah, definitely a solid platformer. So really pleased to have that. And next is a very unusual game. I'm not even going to butter up the pronunciation, but it's a sumo wrestling game. I too, like Craig, remember when Ian Wilson picked this up. And it seemed very interesting. So you're probably not going to pick anything up too well from the screenshots there. But again, I've played this briefly on the Everdrive from a friend. And graphically, it's very impressive. You've got to love that artwork. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. So I know Craig said this was a bit of a guilty pleasure of his. So hopefully I'm going to get into it. Again, that artwork. So fantastic, massive thanks to them, Craig. Doing me a cracking deal on them. Oops, I nearly just threw them on the floor. So more than happy to add them to the ever growing Japanese collection. So, last but not least in this video is another item, or well, the last item that came out of those boxes, and it was part of a trade of website. And it was for a Super Nintendo game that I feel like I should have owned a long time ago. It's one of the very few that I played back in the day with my friends and it's none other than Super Mario Kart so it's in boxed and complete condition the box is a little bit tatty it's perhaps not box porn as people say these days but all the same it fits in pretty well condition wise with the rest of my SNES collection so I'm not going to bother opening it up but the cartridge and the manual is in absolutely mint condition and really pleased to have this back. I think I'm going to unplug my Dreamcast now, plug in the SNES, and give this a bit of a whirl. So that's really it. 
that's everything I've picked up recently. So I thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll upload some more videos soon.